I didn't remember what happened when I was six years old until I was 13. Up until that time, I had been a quiet kid. After I remembered I couldn't stop talking, I chattered about everything, anything. I just never told anyone exactly what happened. They knew from the police and my dad, but no one asked me. All I wanted was to be listened to and cared for. It isn't that my family didn't want to help me. There hadn't been any safety for them, and they didn't know how to give me something that they never had. Over the years, I dealt with what happened to me through psychotherapy, art, political organizing. Members of my family began to tell me their own silent stories, the rape and murder of my father's mother in a pogrom, the rape of my mother by her cousin, a priest, and eventually my sister told me of her assault by the same man who had kidnapped, raped, sodomized, and threatened to kill me. With each story placed on my shoulders, I listened, comforted, and wept, but still there was no place and no one for me to tell my story. When I was 34, my mother told me that she wanted to go to counseling together to deal with what happened to me. I said, I'm all right, we don't need to go. She said, I need to go because I need to know what happened and to talk about what it was like not to be able to protect you and nearly lose you. We sat there in the gathering dusk at her small, quiet house, holding hands, crying. Finally, there it was, a place for me to tell my story. But we never got to counseling. The following day, my mother was raped and murdered by a young man in the neighborhood. Over the next months and years, I lived in a world of vast grief. My world fractured into other stories and images, and it was a very long time before I did indeed tell my story. It wasn't until the second spring after her death that I started to find myself here with the living again. What sustained me and kept me from bitterness towards life? My art, my passion for justice, my hands in the garden soil, loved ones, and those loving words from my mother on our last night. <laughs>